Hey guys, this is Ganesh. Welcome back to Ganesh Jada Automation Studio. So today we are going to learn about the how to handle cookies in Selenium Web Driver. But before that, we must need to learn what is meant by the cookies basically. Okay. So cookies are nothing but this is a HTTP cookies is completely compromised of the information about the user and their preference. You might know very well uh, cookies always stored on the like browser side. Some of the cookies are stored on the server side. Some of the cookies are permanent. Some of the cookies are temporary. So basically, cookies always stored in the key and value pair. Here you can see, guys, it stored information using a key and value pair like your username, password, your some of the information. It is a small piece of data sent from web application and stored in a web browser while the user is browsing that website. So whenever we are browsing any website. First of all, cookies come into the picture. Now here you can see guys, I have like, I'm giving you one of the example to you guys. Here you can see, I have one of the examples. Suppose I'm opening one of the website like TCS, I'm, I'm, I'm opening. Oh, I'm, I'm just opening the TCS official website. And here you can see guys, once I'm opening this TCL official website, the first thing come into the picture, which is named as a cookies. So here you can see guys, this is the cookies basically we have. So cookies first of all come into the picture. And we must need to handle these cookies basically. Now the point over here is how to handle these cookies. Okay. So uh, so before that, why basically we must need to handle these cookies in Selenium? What is the need basically? You might know each and every cookie is completely associated with a name, value, domain, path, expiry, and the status of whether it is secured or not. So this is how basically each and every cookie is completely associated with these these many terms in order to validate a client a server pass all this value in a cookie so in, your, in order to validate basically your client and your server completely pass the all these all these values in a cookies when testing a web application using selenium web driver you may need to create update or delete a cookies so many times what happen you must need to create a cookies you must need to get the cookies you must need to delete the cookies this many operations basically you can perform with the help of the cookies in a selenium web driver and that is why we must need to handle the cookies but the point over here is what are the selenium web driver commands we have so with the help of those commands we can able to handle the cookies so basically these many commands we have guys with the help of these commands we can simply get the cookies we can simply add the cookies in in the browser even we can add the cookies with the help of the name so these many method basically we have get cookies add cookie get cookies by name delete cookie delete cookie by name delete all cookies so these many by default selenium web driver methods we have and with the help of this selenium web driver method we can simply handle the cookies now uh, first of all we are going to learn this first cookies uh, first method of the selenium web driver which is named as a get cookies now get cookies meaning it 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 means guys it is return the all list it is return the list of all cookies basically now you can see guys i am opening my IntelliJ idea and what exactly I'm trying to do over here, I'm simply fetching the cookies over here. Okay. What exactly I'm trying to do, I'm simply fetching the all cookies over here. So, so what exactly I need to do uh, whenever I've, I wanted to write down the code for a cookies, first of all, we must need to use the driver object, driver dot uh, manage method basically we have to use and dot in here you can see guys, all cookies related methods are available over here. Now, first of all, I'm, I'm just using this gate cookies method and semicolon. Now, is it is it more than enough? Like with the help of this method, can we able to fetch the all cookies? The answer is no. So, what exactly we need to do? This get cookies method return type as set of cookies. Here you can see, guys. This is a Selenium web driver method we have. And if I'm going inside with this method, here you can see, guys. The return type of this get cookies method is a set of cookies. So simple. What exactly I need to do? I just need to create an object over here. Here you can see, guys. I am just create an object over here cookies. This object basically I'm going to create now set of cookies. It means set interface doesn't contain the duplicate data basically. So whatever data we are feeding, we are, we are storing here in the set. So all data are unique over here. So all your cookies data is absolutely unique over here. So what exactly we need to do now? We want to iterate the data one by one. So for that, what exactly we need to do? We must need to iterate the for each loop over there. Now we want to iterate the cookies. So that is why we must need to use this cookies object C colon and this cookies uh, object uh, like this is a set of object. Basically we have this object basically we need to use. And if I'm using uh, if I'm printing 
if I want to print the cookies one by one, simple, I just need to use system.out.println. And here you can see, guys, simply I can able to print the all cookies basically. And if I'm going to run my scripts over here, here you can see, guys, what will happen? I'm just running this Amazon.in browse like this. This is a website basically I'm running and I'm just pasting the whatever cookies we have available on this Amazon.in website. I'm just pasting the cookies and here you can see guys. This is a data basically we have of the cookies. Here you can see session ID. Uh, now here you can see guys expiry date and then path we have session ID. We have expires. We have path domain session ID. So these many cookies we have, this many data basically we have. And here you can see guys, each and cookies, each and cookie has a unique data in order to validate. So each cookie has a name, value, domain, path, expiry, and the status of whether it is secured or not. So this is how basically we can get the data over here. Here you can see guys, path basically we will get, domain basically we will get, expires basically we will get, this kind of data basically we will get. So this is how basically we can get the data uh, uh, they get the cookies from the any any website. This is how basically we can fetch the all cookies. Okay. Now this is the method basically we have whenever we want to fetch the all cookies. Now second method we have which is name as a add cookies. Now add cookie it means we can create and add cookies to the browser. So we can even add our customized cookies on the browser. So if you want to add our customized cookies, how to add basically? So simple, what exactly we have to do guys? Simple, we have to create a cookies object. Okay, uh, cookies object basically you have to create. Now cookies add uh, cookie. Okay, this object basically I'm, I'm going to create new and I'm just creating this object over here. Now, now here you can see guys what exactly we need to pass the data over here. As I already told you, Cookies always stored into the key and value pair. Here you can see guys, this is your key, this is your value, this is your key, this is your value. So this is your key, this is your value. So basically, whenever we want to add the cookies, that time compulsory we have to we have to provide the cookies into the key and value pair. So all other cookies are basically stored in the key and value pair. So here I'm providing the key over here. Suppose I'm just writing down key over here, YouTube. Okay, YouTube, uh, this is a key basically I'm going to add and the value of that key, I'm, I'm just writing down Ganesh Jadav Automation Studio. Okay, this is what the key and value basically I'm trying to add over here. When this is done guys, what exactly I'm trying to do? Again, I'm going to use driver.manage method and now this time I have to use add cookies method and whatever object basically we created over here, simple, I just need to copy over here and simple, I need to pass this object over here. When this is done, now again, so this is how the customized cookies basically we created and we are going to add these cookies at the run time whenever I'm going to run this script, that run time basically you can able to add the cookies. Now, once I'm uh, now here, I just created the cookies over here and again, I'm fetching the all cookies from the browser. So it means we, we can even check whether these cookies actually we will get here on the console or not. Let me run this program first guys and then we are going to discuss. Okay, let's wait for a couple of seconds only and here you can see my browser will be open and here you can see my browser is open and my browser is again closed over here. Here you can see guys, my browser is going to close over here. Now here we are going to check is this cookies properly add over here. Here you can see guys simple. I'm just clicking over here and I'm I'm just using control F and I'm pasting my key over here and here you can see here you can see guys YouTube is equal to Ganesh Jadav Automation Studio. It means my key is successfully added over here. You can see guys my key is successfully added over here. This is how basically we can add our own cookie. This is how basically we can add our own cookies to the browser sites with the help of the Selenium web driver. When this is done, then we have a third method we have which is named as a gate cookie by name. Now whenever we want to fetch the particular cookie with the help of the uh, like particular uh, cookie name, that also we can perform over there. So let me remove this thread dot slip because we don't need to use it over here. So what exactly I'm trying to do guys, simple I'm just using system.out.println and I'm just writing down some of the text over here and get cookie by name. This is just for an understanding purpose guys. And when this is done, 
here you can see what exactly I'm trying to do. Driver, uh, I'm just using this, uh, I'm just uh, printing these statements in a, I'm, I'm just writing this statement in the system.on.println SOUAT. And here you can see, guys, I'm just writing down driver dot uh, manage dot get cookie by name method basically we have to use and which name I need to pass guys I need to pass this name which name YouTube name basically I need to pass over here okay when this is done you can see guys what will happen again I'm going to run my scripts and you can see on the console basically you can able to see probably you will get a value like key basically we provided and you can get the value of that cookie and here you can see guys this is a data basically we have my key is successfully added over here and here you can see guys get cookie by name and here you can see guys I will get a complete cookie information. This is how basically we can this is how basically we can get the cookies uh, with the help of the uh, name. This is how basically we can retrieve the cookie. Now the point over here is now another point I would like to tell you what another point uh, uh, I would like to tell you about that another method which is named as a delete cookie. Can we delete the cookie? Can we delete the cookie? Yes, we can delete the cookie with the help of the uh, argument. Like with the help of the argument, basically we can delete the cookie as well. So how basically we can delete the cookie? So let me write down this code over here. Again, I'm just using the uh, code over here. I'm just printing the statement. So you will you will get to understand. So here I'm just using delete cookie. That's it. Delete cookie by uh, okay, delete cookie. So if I'm just deleting the cookie, what exactly I have to do, uh, do guys? Driver dot manage method I have to use, and again I'm just using delete cookie method. Basically, I have to use, and here I need to pass the object. Which pass? Which object basically I have to pass? This object basically I have to pass, pass which we created over here. So here you can see, guys, add cookie. This object basically we create, we we passed over here, and simple. I'm just adding that object over here. So it means whatever cookie object basically we created for adding the cookies. Now what exactly we are trying to do? We are just adding the cookies over there on the browser again uh, and now we are deleting that object. I mean to say we are deleting that cookies. Now we, we must need to check. We must need to check whether this cookie is properly deleted or not. So what exactly I'm trying to do? Again, I'm just getting the information over here. I mean to say again, I'm fetching the information over here. Simple, I'm just changing the object over here. That's it. What exactly I'm trying to do guys now? I am just a page after the deleting the cookies object. I'm, I'm checking is there is that kind of cookies available on the browser that basically I'm going to check over here and here you can see guys again. I'm going to run my scripts and you can see guys what will happen. Let's wait for a couple of seconds only and here you can see guys my Amazon.in website is opening over here on this browser and my browser is successfully closed over here and here you can see guys delete cookie method basically we have and here you can see guys in this delete cookie basically you cannot able to find this YouTube this 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 cookie name so here you can see guys I'm searching this YouTube uh, like YouTube cookie basically over here you can see guys now my cookie is available over here because we already we already added the added my cookie over here now here you can see guys what exactly I'm trying to do get cookie by name here you can see guys I'm successfully able to retrieve the cookie name and here you can see guys delete the cookies here by the cookie and here you can see guys here I cannot able to find the cookie over here. Here you can see in this below I cannot able to find YouTube name this cookies basically I cannot able to find. So this is how basically we can able to delete the cookie with the help of the what guys cookies. Now another method I would like to tell you delete cookies by name. So even we can delete the cookie with the help of the particular name as well. Here you can see guys what exactly I'm trying to do now. I'm just refactoring this code. I'm just deleting cookie by name. This passage, this is a context basically I would like to add. And instead of providing the cookie directly over here, here I'm just passing the cookie name. Now what is my cookie uh, name? Basically YouTube is my cookie name and I'm just simply passing over here. Okay, I'm just simply uh, passing over cookies by name. Oh, okay, cookies by name over here. And here you can see guys, I can simply able to find uh, find out the cookies name over here. And again, if I'm going to run my program, you can you cannot able to see the this YouTube cookie here again. Okay, here you can see guys again, I'm going to run my program and you can see guys just wait for wait for a couple of minutes only. 
and probably you can able to see the cookie is not present over there and here you can see guys your cookie now here you can see the youtube cookie is present over here because you added over here here you can see whenever you are getting the cookie name by the name you can successfully fetch the name over here and whenever you are trying to delete the cookies by name you can see guys here you cannot able to find the youtube cookie because of you deleted the cookie by name with the help of this method basically you deleted the cookie okay this is thing basically i want to tell you and the last method we have about the selenium web driver about the delete cookie which is name as a delete all cookies whenever you want to delete all cookies that time basically you have to use this method so what exactly i'm trying to do guys just simple little bit code i'm just refactoring over here delete all cookies this is just a simple word i'm just adding over here and this is the code basically i'm just removing over here and here i'm just using which method guys i'm just using delete all cookies method i'm going to use and this delete all method uh, doesn't accept any parameter when this is done guys and here you can see guys what exactly happened i am again going to run my code over here and here you don't get not a single cookie over here because you we are going to delete it. the all cookies with the help of the delete all cookie method okay here you can see guys you will get a empty data is printed over here this is how basically we can handle the cookies here you can see guys you can uh, like we deleted the all cookies which are present in the browser this is how basically we are handling the cookies in a selenium web driver i hope this video is, is really like to you guys thanks thanks for watching this video